We want to let Europe know, Europe know about the developments at WTM and the success of the SCRIM, which is a machine that measures the skidding resistance on the road surface. In fact, the number of countries that have deployed the SCRIM as part of their skid policy have been able to obtain over a 40% reduction in the number of deaths that are associated with um, skid resistance. The heart of the machine is the test wheel here, where the test wheel is lowered down onto the road surface and it's actually inclined at 20 degrees to the direction of travel. This induces a sideways force on this wheel, which is monitored by the system, and together with the vertical load, which is also measured, gives you the measure of skidding resistance. And this is used as a routine uh, machine, so you've got a, a large tank on the, on the track, so you can go all day, basically, um, measuring the skidding resistance on road, on road surfaces. Basically, it gives you an indication of how safe your roads are with respect to skidding resistance on a network level. It's not spot check, it's continuous measurement, so you, you, know, you can try, use it all day long and you get a continuous measurement. It's all referenced by GPS, um, so you know where, where the problem areas are on the road, where those are areas need to be targeted to be resurfaced or further investigated to make sure that they are safe for road users. And SCRIM isn't the only thing that WDM is uh, showing off this week. What other developments do you want to show? Um, one of the products we're most interested about is the uh, TM2, which is a uh, macro texture measuring device, which is ideally suited to reinstatements on newly laid surfaces. In fact, this particular device has been accepted in uh, New Zealand and Australia, not only as a means of measuring macro texture, but it's actually the reference measurement. So all other measures have to be referenced to this particular device, and it's a novel approach to obtaining uh, surface texture. Traditionally, the method used was a sand patch method, which is very slow, laborious, and manual, and a spot check, whereas this is a continuous measurement, and it's done by using a laser that's uh, transmitted onto the road surface, it's 100 millimetres wide, which is a minimum uh, requirement for the MPD measurement, which is the mean profile depth measurement, which is an international standard, and it's done continually. All the data is stored on a removable uh, memory stick, which can be brought back to the office, and so you have a direct measurement of the macro texture, which again is essential for safety. So it, it not only is more accurate, but it's actually more user-friendly as well? Yes, absolutely. As you, see, you can see it's quite a small device, so you can put it in the back of your truck, and you can take it onto site, moving along, and it's the survey is done at walking, walking pace, which is obviously a lot faster than the traditional sand patch method, which was basically you had a, a measure of sand which you had to spread out onto the road surface, and it was done at spot checks. So a 50 metre section with the sand patch could take you a couple of hours, whereas with this particular device, it's the time it takes just to walk that distance, and the results are obtained in real time, and you see exactly the results as you're pushing it along.